And we know a lot of you have questions about COVID-19, getting vaccinated and what you can and can't do once you're fully vaccinated. Each week here on Brightside, we're bringing your COVID-19 questions to virologist at USF Health, Dr. Michael Tang. So there's kind of the quote vaccine shopping at this point. You can go on to some pharmacies websites and choose what vaccine you'd like to get. Obviously Johnson and Johnson seems more convenient because it's just one shot instead of having to go back for that booster. Yep. But is there an instance where you should choose Pfizer or Moderna over Johnson and Johnson? There's, there's, you know, advantages and drawbacks to each one. I mean, I think the, the ease of getting a single shot is you have to consider that in addition to, you know, this booster shot, the boosters certainly give you at least a higher level of antibodies. Dr. Tang says it's rare, but some people have an allergy to an ingredient in the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines called polyethylene glycol, which is a lipid fat droplet. He says in that case, you should avoid those options. So what would happen if you contracted COVID between those two doses? It doesn't seem to affect the vaccine efficacy. It's kind of that two week period after the first dose where you're more likely to get infected. Because again, the um, vaccines provide some level of um, immunity about after about two weeks. We do know, for example, that people who have recovered from COVID and then have gotten that first shot of Pfizer or Moderna, uh, specifically Pfizer, they seem to have a little bit more side effects, that first shot. The CDC has come out with its recommendations for people who are fully vaccinated and what they can and can't do. They still are not promoting travel for people who are fully vaccinated. So what's the science behind that? I haven't been on an airplane for over a year, so but I would feel more comfortable getting on an airplane if I were vaccinated. So, mm -hmm. you know, maybe it's just out of an abundance of caution. Well, we want to hear from you too. Send us your questions for Dr. Tang. We'll bring them to him and then give you the answers each week on Brightside. You can submit your questions by texting us 727-577-8522.